Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please watch this video till the end. Pfizer said its candidate vaccine was more than 90% effective in preventing infection in volunteers. It uses a never-before-approved technology called messenger RNA, or mRNA, to produce an immune response in people who are vaccinated. This shows that the mRNA platform actually does work. And there's another vaccine candidate, Moderna, that's using the same platform, Fauci told CNN in a telephone interview. Fauci's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases is working with Moderna and other companies to test their experimental vaccines. The U.S. federal government has invested $1.95 billion in Pfizer and BioNTech's vaccine but is not directly working to help its development. The mRNA vaccine approach uses genetic material called mRNA to trick cells into producing bits of protein that look like pieces of the virus. The immune system learns to recognize and attack those bits and, in theory, would react fast to any actual infection. Really encouraged to see this exciting announcement. Assuming it's supported by the data then this not only represents a potential breakthrough for Pfizer slash BioNTech, but also for vaccines in general, vaccine expert Robin Shattuck, whose team at Imperial College London is working on an mRNA vaccine against coronavirus, said in a statement. It also demonstrates the speed and utility of RNA vaccines technology, Shattuck added. This announcement certainly gives a boost to our own self-amplifying RNA vaccine program. Not yet the end game, but hopefully the beginning of global efforts to control this pandemic. A significant light at the end of the tunnel. There's a second reason the Pfizer results are good news for other vaccines. They show that using spike protein as a target was the right call. The other good thing about it is that an actual immune response to the spike protein is a protective response, Fauci said. That's all for today. If you like this video, Please like and subscribe. Thanks, see you soon with some new video.